Hello guys, welcome back to Sophie React. Have a wonderful day today. We're going to be reacting to the original season one, episode 17, uh, Moon Over Bourbon Street. Um, but before we do, we have to talk about last episode. God, last episode was something else, like the best episode of the original so far. Even though it's an episode that I wasn't hoping that it's gonna happen. You know, because apparently Rebecca's actress left the show. So it's something I didn't want, you know, but I guess it was a great send off in a way. I hope that the show will still be good without Rebecca, but I did pretty much love the last episode. It was incredible. It was one of the most interesting, well done episodes so far in the entire uh, TV diverse, not just the originals. Claire, Joseph, Danielle were absolutely phenomenal in the episode. It's incredible how great they're portraying all these emotions and characters in general. The flashbacks, the dialogue, the conflict between the siblings, paired with the visual, the vocal emotions, God, it was just mind blowing. Rebecca's dialogue about the Michelson family being cursed, it's one of my favorite quotes in the TVD universe. One of the reasons why I love this lore so much is that the Michelson's family is a definition of a dysfunctional family. The dad wants to kill everyone. The mom wants to kill everyone. The biggest brother wants to kill everyone, AKA Finn. The big brother just wishes that everyone would get over the issues and just be together. Klaus just, you know, being Klaus. Rebecca just wants to be set free. It's, <laughs> it's so dysfunctional, it's beyond me. Rebecca luring Michael to New Orleans was and was not justifiable. It was, yes, justifiable, but not justifiable. Like, if she would've just find a way to get rid of him, I don't know, desiccate him, find a, something that is alternative to, to a dagger, I'd be like, go girl, you do you. But here, Rebecca, yes, it was just for a moment, but she did wish that Michael would kill him, like for good. And that is something that Klaus never wished upon his siblings. Yeah, he daggered them. Yeah, he, keep, he kept them in boxes. Uh, but like daggering and definitely killing is not the same thing. So, like I was saying, it was and it was not justifiable. Also, this uh, episode gave us a clear idea of why Klaus is the way he is. I mean, we had we had glimpses and stuff. We had an idea about how Michael abused him while growing up, but he, like the abuse starts since he was just a little kid, and like seeing how things were, it is just, oh my God. And the fact that not Elijah, not Cole, not anyone else, it was Rebecca that had the gut to stand up to, to her father and stop him from beating and abusing Klaus. And she was even willing to go so far as to kill him. It just shows you how much Rebecca loves Klaus. Yes, there's hate there, there's frustrations, there's anger towards Klaus and all that shit, but deep down she loves Klaus and when he didn't kill her at the end, she, like she said to Haley, uh, that she believes that it's not too late for him and that got confirmed by the fact that he didn't kill her even though even though she was so sure that he's gonna kill her but he didn't he could never truly bring himself to kill his siblings 
especially not Rebecca and Elijah. He staked her because he wanted her to, to know what it feels like to be scared of death and you know, he's been like that, he's been feeling that way for a thousand years because of his dad, because he was haunting him, so every time he gets close to him, Klaus will feel that way. Yeah, Elijah and Rebecca were afraid of Michael too, but on so many occasions, Michael made it clear that Rebecca and Elijah were never his target. It was only Klaus. Yeah, they were abused by him too, but it was an emotional abuse. Not to diminish that emotional abuse is, you know, is fucked up as it is, but they were never the main target. It was always Klaus. So it just... It's too much, like, it's too much to witness that. I adored Elijah last episode. Uh, also, at the, at the end, when he, when he came and just threw Marcel across the room and banished him, he basically put Marcel on timeout. Elijah knows no matter how angry Klaus is, he won't kill Marcel because it's his son. Like, he, he sees Marcel as his son, like, if you notice at the end, he didn't even talk to Marcel. He didn't even go to Marcel. Like he just wanted to prove his point with Rebecca and make her feel what he feels, what he felt. But he didn't go after Marcel at all. It was Elijah who banished him, who exiled him. But like the same way he couldn't kill Rebecca, he can kill Marcel. And Elijah knew that. That ending with Klaus just walking away feeling heartbroken and Elijah taking charge it was chef's kiss <laughs> love that uh, and at the end when he just went on memory lane and opened up that box of that thing that he carved for her and stuff like that it was just oh it was beautiful man at the same time, watching Rebecca on the road, just, you know, being happy and smiling and stuff. It was, it was hard, but it was beautiful at the same time. <laughs> anyway, it was such a good episode. Uh, so without further ado, let's dive into this reaction. They say the passage of time will heal all wounds, but the greater the loss, the deeper the cut. So as time moves along, we get lost in distractions. Oh no way. And doubt in frustration. Give in. This chaos man in New Orleans. We work. We are healed. My demons I'm are really dead. I'm the only one disappointed Which that he's with Genevieve. You do recall. Exactly. That woman tortured our sister. She also revealed the truth about our sister's treachery. Because it has been a month. Now, I feel our sister's loss as deeply as you. I knew it. I knew the reason he was painting was because of Rebecca. He's feeling her loss deeply. I wish, I just wish we knew when and if Claire is going to, you know, guest star. I'm just hoping they're gonna see her from time to time. You wanted this throne. Now you must accept the responsibility that accompanies that. No, I wonder he's what not interested in ruling anymore because he's hurt. Oh. We must work together, Niklaus. Let's make the city whole again. Perhaps it is too broken to mend. These are the rules of the city according to Marcel Gerard. The way he pronounced Gerard, it was perfect. It's no longer apply, because I am in charge. See, Davina, it's easy. All you have to do is try. I am trying. Trying and failing ever since you came back. When are you gonna stop being such a bitch to me, Monique? When do you stop being weak? The guy who played Rebecca. I hate him already. This is just a lot more family fun than I'm used to. Well, maybe I can help you get used to it. You know, word from the quarters, your boy Elijah's holding some kind of power summit. Guess who wasn't invited? The point is, is that we're stuck here living in the swamp while your vampire boyfriend's deciding who gets what in the city. Like nowhere in the vile creatures cannot agree. Father, calm yourself, please. Thank you. Father! If you're dividing up the city and the werewolves don't even get a say. What the hell is she doing here? Diego, sit. There is not going to be a peace if the werewolves are excluded. They want a seat at the table. 
She's speaking on behalf of the werewolves. Once this treaty is solidified, it will expand to include your people. And until then, I should tell them what? Sit, stay, roll over. I would prefer that you remove yourself from the process altogether. How is she related to them? We know that the guy that she's with, they, they were betrothed and he was supposed to marry her and she was supposed to marry him. But what about the other people? How, they, I don't think they're blood related. It's just they're in the same pack. Like they're from the same pack, right? Like her immediate family died. Wolves deserve a voice. Give them one. I saw the light from the courtyard and took a chance that... You weren't with a half-naked psycho witch. Seems I gambled and lost. <laughs> Ten savage. That was savage. Go off, Cammy. I was fully naked. Oh, then you served your purpose. Don't let me hold you up. Another blow. I'm here about my uncle. He's deteriorating. Yeah, you told that he's gonna help Klaus. A witch did this, a witch can undo it. You seem super tight with Genevieve. Maybe you could persuade her to help. It won't do any good. These hexes, they start with magic, but as they take root, they alter the very chemistry of the brain. Sorry, Cammy. What was so important you dragged me all the way out here? I have a proposal. I want you and all the guys who walked out on Klaus with you to join me. Rounding up an army. Can't take back the city without one. Oh, really? While everyone's busy choosing sides, I'm gonna find a way to take back our city, so. You with me? Yeah, my son, haven't you learned anything? But it's anything? gonna take more than a pretty speech this time. How many times do I have to tell you I can't be fixed? And how many times do I have to tell you I will not stop trying? Oh, that is just stubbornness, like, like when you were a little girl. You never listened to it. just the thick head of yours. He's I a great actor, just saying. There's only death. There's mine and yours. Give me! Oh my god! Those shades are not short enough. Oh my god. Oh my Klaus has to help her. Mr. Michelson. Ms. Correa. Please call me Francesca. We can dispense with any formalities, Ms. Correa. I know exactly who you are. Whatever you may think of me, my family's been a part of the human faction for years, which makes me uniquely qualified to take Father Kieran's place. You'll deal with me from now on. I think you find it beneficial to have me on your side. Even if it's just to prevent my less civil brethren from lashing out in ways that could prove painful to you. Well, the human faction in this city is no joke. A lot of looking casual. Mutual loathing. Spare me the platitudes, Nikos. A perspective, then. If you want peace, you must begin with the werewolves. A hundred years ago, they had a run at ruling this city. Take a page from Bienville, brother. If the table's the obstacle, Remove it. I love the political aspect in the show. It just adds so much. Like, it adds so much to the show. It's amazing. Are you suggesting that I throw a party? <laughs> parties. The difference between the parties and the vampire diaries in the original is just so huge. Yeah. Nice to see that the werewolves didn't forget how to dress up, you know, since they've been in wolf form for I don't know how long. Now, if I can just keep them from tearing one another to shreds. Well, then, for your sake, here's to a spectacularly boring evening. Nice class is getting back to the game. What is he, 12? I swear to God. Diego, a Diego, a Diego is 12. You know, in light of Kieran's deteriorating condition, the others have acquiesced to your proposal. He will represent the human faction until he's ready to resume. Not mama. If it falls apart, each faction's gonna look for leverage against the other ones. Davina has to be able to defend herself, even from her own people if need be. She has to start doing magic again. Why are you telling me? Because someone has to tell her, and she won't listen to me. Wait. Are the wishes not gonna kill Genevieve to bring the fourth... Uh... Are they not gonna need for all of them to get back? For them, you know, to be fully in control of their new power. Yeah, see, his people killed my whole family. My sister bled out on the floor right next to me. And the only reason I'm standing here is because Marcel came along and turned me before I bled out too. So I'm telling you right now, I cannot be polite and welcoming to that. Welcome to my home. I wouldn't be here oh, if Haley oh, hadn't forced the issue. Oh. Elijah? I don't, I'm not sure if he knows. We're gonna have like a 
love triangle. Haley tells me that this peace treaty is important to you. Yes, it certainly is. So much so, in fact, if anyone threatened to dismantle what I'm building here, I destroy everything they hold dear. Have a wonderful evening. <laughs> I was just being casual. I'm so glad you accepted my invitation. So is this where the great Klaus Michelson says something poignant and snaps my neck? I'm not here to kill you. Well, if you're not going to kill me, then what the hell do you want? Only to give you back the city that was taken from you. Is he going to side with the werewolves and not the vampire? What? Vampires destroy life to survive. Witches are only as powerful as their dead. The werewolves have thrived because their strength comes from family unity. The safety of that unity is what I want for my unborn child. <laughs> of course, Klaus has his own plans for his own child. I know, Elijah's trying to do his thing. Klaus is trying to do his thing too. Vampires are the antithesis of unity. Oh, he, so he, I'm, I'm with That's him, a... I understand that too. He can build a safe home for his child under the vampire's rule. Like, it would be safest for her if the werewolves are in charge. A thousand years, you're finally ready to embrace the other half of your family tree. Ouch. Maybe the other half doesn't want you. Oh, they will. Once they return to the quarter. Daylight rings shield vampires from the sun, so why not a moonlight ring to protect werewolves from the curse? Class once told me that his painting was a metaphor for control, for achieving his vision through sheer force of will. Well, truthfully, I'd be shocked that. if he didn't have at least a dozen or so of those visions swarming around in that insidious skull of his. I do hope your daughter inherits her mother's everything. <laughs> I'm totally going to have a love triangle. I should have told you how beautiful you look tonight. Oh, totally. Totally. I love to hear that. I just saw Kieran. He's not gonna hurt you again. In fact, he won't leave the attic at all. I arranged for a little boundary spell. You got a witch to help you? I thought they hated you. For you, I found one who doesn't. You're the first person to help me in a month. Yeah, I was kind of hoping that Klaus would be the one to help her. What the hell, Klaus? I'm so fucking disappointed in the name. Well, yeah, if you want me to crush your skull with it. Please, boys, at least fight over something interesting. <laughs> me, perhaps? People wronged you in any way. You have my condolences, okay? Though I'd be surprised if my king could choke him down, being half as ugly as him. <laughs> this ends now. I won't ask again. Oh, we'll end it, all right. What's stopping you? Kill him. Go ahead, Elijah, do it. I mean, your fiance is literally pointing a, a stake in Diego's heart. Do you see that happening right away? And your wolf is kind of the one who started this. If we can't all learn to get along, if our families can't create some sort of community, then what's the point? Kill each other and get it all over with. Yeah, she has a point. <laughs> all the power I had was from the other Harvest Girls. I don't even know what I have without it. Figure Would it you out. Ask yourself to find out. Yeah. You're a witch, Davina. Be a witch. You can't change your DNA any more than I can. So you might as well embrace it. See? <laughs> oh. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> you okay? There's <laughs> bruises. I'm so bruised. Something's gonna happen. You're a good friend, Marcel. Oh, totally. I'm tired of being alone. Oh. I am too. I knew it was gonna happen. Why is she spying on her? Creepy. Not that that wasn't totally worth it. It can never happen again. <laughs> what if one of us craves another jewel? Yeah, this is what she used to spy on her. You said I had nothing. You're wrong. I have the same thing I had when I rebuilt this city from the ashes the first time. Everything to gain and nothing to lose. So us against the world? We'll get a third. And a fourth. And pretty soon we're gonna have that army. The success of which depends upon several things. Depth of commitment, passion for one's cause, 
Determination to overcome any obstacle. You made a deal with Klaus Michelson. I'd rather turn every full moon. If Klaus is right, this magic could do more than just stop us from turning. We could finally control what we are. Our fight would be lethal to vampires 24-7. Oh, holy shit. They'll be the superior species. I assure you, the city's inhabitants will not adhere to this agreement. Well, you are welcome to wager against me. You will lose. I mean, you know, making plans. <laughs> that was a great episode, guys. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed my reaction and see you in the next video.